Okay, in this video we are going to talk a little bit about using matrices on your calculator and specifically we are going to talk about finding inverses of matrices and finding determinants of matrices. So neither of these is super complicated on the calculator. Um, first thing we have to remember is how we input a matrix. So uh, I'm going to go with a 2x2, two two, the default size. And let's just punch in some numbers, 4, 9, negative 2, 1. Okay, so I can raise a matrix, a square matrix, so that has the same number of rows and columns. You can raise that to a power. So for example, I could cube this, and I get that. Um, the key thing, usually, usually you don't have to raise a matrix to a power in particular, but you frequently need to find the inverse of a matrix. And finding the inverse of a matrix is the same as raising the matrix to the negative first power. So if I do that, I get that, um, which is kind of a surprising result, um, but it is what you get. So uh, that's something that we can definitely do. And then another thing you'll find yourself having to do quite frequently is uh, find the determinant of a matrix. And so for that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the matrix menu, which is option seven. And then you can see we've got a couple of options here. Actually, we have a lot of options. We have um, create a matrix with like a lot of options in there. I don't use that much. Transpose, which is, it switches the rows and columns. Determinant is what we wanted to find. So I'm gonna find a determinant of, I don't know, let's, uh, so again, this needs to be a square matrix. So I'm gonna go with a two by two, negative one, five, three, and three. So the determinant of that matrix is uh, negative 18. If you're not sure what's happening, the calculator can kind of help you out with that too. So I could just type DET, which I'm inclined to do, but I'll go back into the menu. So it's menu, matrix, option three is determinant. And now what I'm gonna do is, uh, say I forgot how to take a determinant by hand, but I have a calculator handy. Uh, I'm just gonna do this. And so now the calculator will find this determinant. Um, and it says the determinant is AD minus BC. And it's giving you a warning. Let's see what the warning is. Domain of the result might be larger than the domain of the input. Um, I'm not really sure why it's saying that in this case. Uh, usually it says that when it may or may not have divided by zero, uh, but I'm not sure for this one. But anyway, uh, those are some things you can do. So we can definitely raise a matrix to a power. We can find the inverse of a matrix by doing this. Let's see what happens when I try to do the inverse on a generic matrix, see if it'll tell us. So I'm gonna go with A, B, C, D. And then I'm gonna raise that to the negative first power. And I get, so this is actually kind of interesting because some people find this really difficult to remember. Um, the denominators here all appear to be the determinant of the matrix. They actually are the determinant of the matrix. Um, and then if you look what happened, uh, A and D switched places and B and C switched signs. So that's kind of a useful thing. When you forget these sorts of things, if you have your cast with you, it can actually help you out and uh, tell you what to do. So we can find inverses, we can find determinants, we can find the rules that tell you how to find inverses and determinants, um, and the calculator really helps out a lot. So I hope you found this helpful, and good luck.